In this guide, you'll learn about how to commission Ream 874 and 876 series gas continuous flow water heaters. The guide is designed to help you understand the key steps involved and is not a substitute for the full installation and commissioning instructions supplied with the water heater. This guide is designed for authorised plumbers, installers and service agents only. There is a risk of electric shock, scalding or burns if installation, commissioning and all required safety procedures are not followed. The removal of any electrical covers will expose 240 volt wiring and hot surfaces. Always wear appropriate personal protective equipment to prevent burns or scalding. Wear insulated gloves and use insulated tools to reduce the risk of coming into contact with any electrical hazard. When undertaking service or diagnostic work on the water heater, it is recommended that a residual current device is used between the power point and the water heater to reduce the risk of electric shock. With the water heater installed, temporarily isolate the water heater from the electrical supply and turn on all hot taps. Turn off each tap as water flows freely and air is purged from each branch. Check external pipework and connections for leaks. Confirm the inlet water strainer is free of debris. Confirm water flow at each tap is sufficient, at least 3 litres per minute. Before commencing the inlet gas pressure and burner gas pressure checks, note the following important points. If an 874 series model is installed as an in-series gas booster for a solar water heater, then during the burner pressure checking procedure, the temperature of the water entering the in-series gas booster must be below 58 degrees C. Otherwise, the gas burners will not ignite and the operational gas pressures cannot be measured. The gas supply line to the water heater must be purged to remove any air from the line. This must be done in accordance with ASNZS 5601. Important. Once the line is purged, you must wait five minutes for any residual gas to dissipate. If you do not wait the full five minutes, you risk igniting any residual gas in or around the water heater. The minimum required gas supply pressure at the inlet to the water heater with the water heater and all other gas burning appliances operating is 1.13 kPa for natural gas and 2.75 kPa for propane LP gas. If this minimum cannot be achieved, an inspection of the gas supply line may be required to determine why the correct gas pressure cannot be obtained. 1. Temporarily isolate the water heater from the mains power supply. 2. Close all hot taps and ensure the gas isolation valve is closed. 3. Locate the gas inlet test point. Remove the test point screw and washer and set aside. Connect a manometer and open the gas isolation valve. 4. Observe the gas pressure reading on the manometer. If the manometer reading is between the minimum and maximum inlet gas supply pressure ratings on the rating label, then no further adjustment is required. If the manometer reading is below the minimum or above the maximum inlet gas supply pressure rating on the rating label, an inspection of the gas supply line may be required to determine why the correct gas pressure cannot be obtained. 5. Switch on the electrical supply to the water heater. Turn on any temperature controllers, if fitted, to confirm they are working. 6. Fully open a hot tap and ensure the burner is ignited. It may be necessary to open a second tap to reach high fire. 7. Turn on all other gas burning appliances which are on the same gas supply. 8. Observe the gas pressure reading on the manometer. If the manometer reading is between the minimum and maximum inlet gas supply pressure ratings on the rating label, then no further adjustment is required. If the manometer reading is below the minimum or above the maximum inlet gas supply pressure rating on the rating label, an inspection of the gas supply line may be required to determine why the correct gas pressure cannot be obtained. 9. Turn off the other gas burning appliances. 10. If an adjustment was made during step 8, repeat the procedure to check the gas pressure. 11. Close all hot taps and close the gas isolation valve. 12. Remove the manometer, refit and tighten the test point screw and washer. 
13. Open the gas isolation valve and confirm the burner ignites when a hot water tap is opened. Now we'll check the burner gas pressure at both the minimum and maximum operational settings. Refer to the rating label on the water heater for the minimum and maximum test point gas pressure. Checking the minimum test point gas pressure. 1. Close any hot taps and ensure the burners are not operating. 2. Turn off any remote temperature controller, if fitted, and isolate the water heater from the mains power supply. Remove the finisher strips from the front panel and remove the front panel from the water heater. Reconnect the water heater to the power supply. Observe all safety requirements required when working with electrical and temperature hazards. 3. Note the location of the min, max and adjust buttons on the PC board. It may be necessary to withdraw the PC board slightly to gain access to the buttons. Temporarily isolate the water heater from the power supply before withdrawing the PC board. 4. Locate the burner pressure test point on the main burner manifold. Remove the test point screw and washer from the test point orifice and connect a manometer. 5. Turn on the electrical supply to the water heater and turn on any temperature controller if fitted. 6. Open the gas isolation valve fully at the gas inlet to the water heater, if not already open. 7. Open a hot tap slowly until the burners ignite. 8. Press and hold down the MIN button and observe the reading on the manometer. 1L will show on the LED display. 9. Release the MIN button. If the manometer reading matches the rating label, no further adjustment is required. 10. If adjustment is required, press and hold down the adjust button. LH will show on the LED display. Note, the adjust button must be held down continuously through steps 10 to 12. 11. Press and hold down the MIN button and observe the reading on the manometer. The manometer reading will change as the test point gas pressure adjusts. Note, while the MIN button is pressed, the gas pressure will at first increase then decrease, cycling between an upper gas pressure limit 59 on the LED display and a lower gas pressure limit 01 on the LED display. 12. Release the MIN button when the reading on the manometer agrees with the rating label. 13. Now release the adjust button. Note, if the adjust button is accidentally released prior to step 12 or if the burners extinguish and error code 11 or 12 starts to flash on the LED display, Release the MIN and ADJUST buttons. Close the hot tap and clear the error code. To clear an error code, turn off the temperature controller, if fitted, by pressing the ON-OFF button. Switch off the electrical supply to the water heater. Check the gas isolation valve at the gas inlet to the water heater is fully open. Wait 5 minutes. Switch on the electrical supply at the power outlet to the water heater. Turn on the controller by pressing the ON-OFF button and then recommence the procedure from step 10. Checking the maximum test point gas pressure. The procedure to check the maximum test point gas pressure is similar to the minimum test point gas pressure from steps 7 to 13. However, we now use the MAX button instead of the MIN button. 7. Open or hot tap slowly until the burners ignite. Note, it may be necessary to open two or three hot taps fully depending upon the model of water heater and the incoming cold water temperature. 8. Press and hold down the MAX button and observe the reading on the manometer. 6H will show on the LED display. 9. Release the MAX button. If the manometer reading matches the rating label, no further adjustment is required. 10. If adjustment is required, press and hold down the adjust button. LH will show on the LED display. Note, the adjust button must be held down continuously through steps 10 to 12. 11. Press and hold down the max button and observe the reading on the manometer. The manometer reading will change as the test point gas pressure adjusts. Note, while the max button is pressed, the gas pressure will at first increase then decrease 
cycling between an upper gas pressure limit, 39 on the LED display, and a lower gas pressure limit, 01 on the LED display. 12. Release the max button when the reading on the manometer agrees with the rating label. 13. Now release the adjust button. With the burner gas pressure now set, close all hot taps, remove the manometer and refit, and tighten the test point screw and washer. Then, open a hot tap so the burners ignite. Check for gas leaks and then close the hot tap. Turn off the controller, if fitted, and turn off the mains power supply to the water heater. Refit the front panel to the water heater and refit the cover strips to the top and bottom of the front panel. Turn the mains power supply back on once the front cover is fitted. If required, the maximum outlet temperature may be adjusted to compensate for temperature losses in the pipework between the water heater outlet and sanitary fixtures. Refer to the instructions supplied with the water heater. Prior to handover, complete final checks. Hand over any product documents to the customer or building manager, or place them in a safe, dry place for use in the future. Explain the functions of the water heater and controllers, if fitted, to the customer or building manager. For technical support on all REAM products, contact us on 1300 712 863 or to book a service call, contact us on 131 031. To see other videos in the REAM Tech Tips series, visit reem.com.au or subscribe to our YouTube channel, REAM Australia.